Hello everyone, this is Accelerate Games. I am back with another episode of Let's Play for Tales from the Borderland, episode 4, Escape Plan Bravo. And this is the good choice playthrough where I try to wear my white hat and try to be a goody two-shoe. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get started. darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components made the dream of the vault seem closer than ever. Even though the former middle manager was still haunted by the demented ghost of Hyperion Pass. Destroy that body while I'm still young. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare. And this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take her revenge, I made a the con artist intervened. That was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie. And their first job was likely to be their last. We should find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This Endless march down memory lane. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting Gordas pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't, uh, aren't you kind of, you know, vault hunting now? Are you calling me an idiot? Yeah, it's what I did there. Yeah. I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? Don't be stupid. He has a gun. So? He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. <laughs> I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That hasn't helped. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, <laughs> zigzag when you run, okay? It uh, makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's, it's genius. All right. Going on three. One... Three, go! <laughs> That's a weird way to run. He's zigzagging. It apparently makes him harder to hit. Of course. <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't know! We need a shower. Get to the shelter. Oh god, oh god, oh god! <laughs> What's that? Uh, this again. 
Clearly, I can't trust you two. But I didn't even run. And that's why you're still conscious. So, you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up. <sighs> hey! Stop it! Please! Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, boss. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with it. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Gordas, hey, look at me. It'll be all right. Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the vault and hold it here. Then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well... That's some exciting news. Thank you, Gorgeous. You're... you're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <laughs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. You hurt anyone. That's what... Leave her alone! You can't blame yourself. Where did they take Athena? It seems Lilith and the Crimson Raiders have some questions for her. For what? Your friend has a long list of heinous things she has to answer for. Now listen up. Under normal <clears throat> circumstances, <clears throat> your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is... Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll get you the piece. Oh, come on. Well, that's just lovely. And here I thought I was gonna have to stab someone. Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. I'm telling you, it's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. Okay, let's start with how we're gonna get hey, there. Come on, come on, well, just everyone. This calm isn't the down, first time okay? we've had to get. Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this: somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordas's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry, without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like thirty seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you stop being so negative, maybe we can How's your tum tum there, buddy? That'll one. teach you to hit the I taco do, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. Wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should there bottle the so stuff. Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill you're down on every aspect I hope of the you, mission. You help me, but your now constant shit talking I'm not isn't helping anyone. Oh, Reese, you see, you're just so sadly mistaken. Great. It's we'll helping help me you. pass the you time inside your stupid little tiny wallet head. 
The reality is that Wait, we don't have that? a choice. Wallet Teller's head. Got I like that. Wallet head, head, wallet head. You don't think That's I know that? Stuff. Then maybe try coming up with a few solutions. All right, okay. I know okay, we've had our stuff. differences, and go. I'll admit I can get you know pretty grouchy when that. I don't get my own way. Fine. But What's your solution to maximize then? our chances, I, I'm I ready know, to bury the hatchet. But I know we have to do this one way or another. It's a metaphorical hatchet, especially because I know I don't really have any hands right now. Oh, which is a real bitch, I tell you what. Yeah. Yeah, I got a place to bury the hatchet. Ah, uh, you're gonna say up your ass, aren't ya? Too late. Live in your shittiness. Yeah, what I'm saying is this, I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Guys, we can actually do this. What are you talking about? The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reese the location data now. Well, let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. <laughs> I get that you're scared. The I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a... spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him any time. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss. And then it's off to Helios. Pandora, we have liftoff. Before we dock, I'll tell Yvette we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Now the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. I am a living god. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. And for the grand finale, I'll digestruct a vast skies. But Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell him, princess! 
You'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it. You'll only make things way worse. Well, it took me a minute to search my memory files, but boom, what do you know? It was right there all along. Huh. Sounds... Technology. Gotta love it. Reese, if there's something you need to get off your chest, we're listening. You gotta admit, it was pretty weird when you passed out after we left the security office. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, we need to know you're a hundred percent. Which you're clearly not. We're worried about you. Yeah, it definitely seems like something's up. Okay, I admit it. Pandora got to me. This last week has been a little stressful. <laughs> oh, that's nothing compared to what a mission to Helios will be like. At least on Helios, I know what to expect. This place is a nightmare. Being around you is a nightmare. All right, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Cause he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan? Just be honest. He likes us, and he's a, he's a decent guy. Yeah, I mean, he'll probably jump at the chance to build something cool, right? Now, who in the world are these two finely dressed ladies entering my fine automobile establishment? Get out of here, you're classing up the place. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, don't, don't leave, please. You know, since you left, I've been awful bummed about not getting to sponsor you in the death rally. How's your racing career been going? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or... Oh, shoot. Oh, hey. So, uh, hmm. We lied about being racers. We were only in that one death rally by accident. We just really needed repairs. Like, life or death stuff. Sorry. Oh no, I am so surprised. Come on, girl, I knew you wasn't racers. But you look like a couple of good-natured gals, and I never turned down an opportunity to help a couple ladies, especially when I got a crush on one of them, and I will not say who that is, no matter what. Fiona, shoot! What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing, no. It's, uh, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't, either. Scooter? We are going to space. What? I love space! It's like my fourth favorite thing, behind tacos, trucks, and heavy eye contact. That all sounds great. Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it. Oh, wait, when I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two. Because look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. I don't know if she's in much shape to help with the rocket stuff. She's been like that since she... Heard about a couple vault hunters nabbed her girlfriend out in the tundra. Athena? Oh, you know Athena? Man, small world. Yeah, we were there when it happened. Fiona was the last one with her. Then I don't know, maybe you could talk to Janie, let her know what's what. Set her mind at ease if you can. Hi. <sighs> I know 
we've never met, but I was with Athena when uh, she got taken. Yeah? Yeah. She talked about you a lot. Sure she did. She lied to me. Said she was on some delivery run. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I recognized your voice when you came in. You were out there with her. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she wasn't on a delivery job. She was... training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield. I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. Two Vault Hunters ambushed her. Which ones? Brick and, uh, Mordecai. She would have beaten them too if Valerie hadn't attacked. Brick. Mordecai. Good to know. Ha ha ha. This is kinda awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on. You just got I just sit. want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she say anything about me before they took her? The way she acted, sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. Young lady, you are going to have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh man, that sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that... Scooter, wanna come with? Be our onboard mechanic? You mean it? Whoa, space buddies! Here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. Okay, I get it. Off you go. All right, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not. Crap our you ah. are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reeds. It's well, it's huge. Two out of three ain't bad. My office, not your hard on. Whatever. You see, I told you so. Wallet head. All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. Face! Face is face! Has no face! Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A skin pill. Oh, God. What were the pepperonis? A skin pizza. Oh, you clearly haven't been on Pandora mm -hmm. long enough, compadre. Uh-huh. Let's find Vasquez's face. Mm. And get out of here. You're the boss.
All right, look, Reese. What happened between you and me, that's in the past, okay? It's almost like it never happened. I highly doubt that. No, no. I'm serious, pal. You want to find the Gordas Beacon on Helios, and I want to get off this murder planet. Our stars are aligned in a very groovy way. You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission, huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what? Well, looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. How am I gonna find Vasquez's face in all this mess? That's what an echo is for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you want to get up close and physical with some new psycho pals. Disturbing. Not Vasquez's face disturbing, but still disturbing. Glad I wasn't invited to this pizza party. You and me, Pumpkin, let's rock this walk. Whoa, this place is scaring me and I'm a frickin' hologram. Uh, careful now, I wanna end up psycho dinner. Disturb huh? sleep pattern? Flawless! Not now. Interrupt Rem Psycho! Late night snack! Nibble uh, uh, your sweet meats! Disturb huh? sleep! Pattern? Flawless! Not now. Inter <laughs> Alright, good, good, again! This time with feeling! Give him the old smackdown! Atta boy! Need rest. Big day tomorrow. You die, I sleep. Smacky oh. dabby! I should punch with this arm more often. Okay, listen up, because I'm about to compliment you. Oh, looks like we found our psycho. You only see this... Just rip it off like a bandage. Quick and painful. Oh, hmm. Okay, just peeling it off, peeling it off the face, not going to barf into his mouth. With your mouth. <sighs> That's it, go on. Peel off that face like a serial killer. You're sick. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's stuck. Mm -mm. Oh, God, that's so... That, that is just the, the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh, God, oh. I can't stop now. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh pinch it off. Just pinch it oh, off. Seriously? Oh, please don't do it. Please, please, please don't do this to me. Oh, gross. Oh. Smash the baby's face. Crunch its teeth. <laughs> Run. You're the only one running, pal. I can fly. So once I snatched that face pizza, gross, I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no, thousands of psychos chased me. Oh, really? That many? Couldn't even count them all. Technically, it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of... which could... So, one. One, yeah. Psycho with chest bomb. Boom! You said something about a bomb, Psycho? Oh, yeah. There. <laughs> Whoa, wait, dude! Huh? 
Oh, we were supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it back. It's just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. It ain't pretty, but this one fits your budget. Ugh, are Hyperion costumes necessary? Fiona will fit right in with her spiffy new duds, but Sash, you look about as low-down Pandoran as they come. No offense, but if you want to be arrested within ten seconds, be my guest. Oh, really? Even with my new ZR-37 look specs? Especially with your ZR-37 look specs. Hey, here's your disguise allowance. Don't think it'll be a regular thing or nothing. Get yourself something, or get Sasha something nicer so she'll quit whining. Don't care either way. Just don't look Pandoran, or this mission will be over before it even started. So, what are you gonna get, sis? Alright, let's see what we're working with. Alright, thanks, Fee. I'll try it on in a bit. Hope it's worth the cash. Could have bought a lot of guns with that. Ooh, that'll look good. Are you both blind? <whistles> Scooter. You look like a dream! You're up, Sash. Make it quick. Not impressing anyone with this, but it's all right. So, uh, I'm sorry about earlier. Uh, for what? Oh, nothing in particular. Just like to throw apologies out there in case I miss something, you know? Uh, better to play it safe. <laughs> That's a thing to do. I'm not even gonna ask. Yeah, it's probably better that way. Hey! Is this disguise gonna work? I figure you're the one with the eye for this. You and Vaughn are the only Hyperion I know. It suits you. Is that a pun? Oh, no. <laughs> that is hilarious, I get it. Um, I'm just saying that it looks very convincing. It's a, it's a good look for you. Thanks. But I'm gonna be burning these clothes once this is over. Naturally. Anyway, it's all yours. Thanks. Just gotta scan my severed face here. Yeah. Have fun with that. Just get to the skin screen and... Please scan skin. Oh, there we go. Okay, skin scan. Oh, God. Oh, God. Much worse from this side. <sighs> skin unlocked. Convincing. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you look like a complete douchebag. Excellent. That is the look I was going for. This is... Oh, definitely weird. Well, it's certainly... Big. <gasps> That's Scooter for ya. I hope Vaughn's alright. I'm sure Cassius is looking out for him. We'll track them down when we get back.
Fee. You gotta see this. Hey, you look like you've done that. Like you've done that before. I know it's where we're from, but it's never felt like home to me. I... I didn't think I'd ever see this. It looks so... I don't... peaceful. It's beautiful from up here. From up here? Sure. It's a shame we have to go back. I wish we could just turn this thing towards the nearest planet. We'd probably run out of fuel, so it's not a good idea, but... One day we won't have to. We'll be able to pick whichever planet we want. <laughs> I can't wait. Ugh, I keep forgetting they're here. Once we get the beacon, we'll figure out a way to turn things back in our favor. Any ideas on how exactly we do that? Or are we just winging it? Again. We get the beacon and ditch Valerie's goons. Leave him on Hyperion. Mm, I don't think Valerie will like it if August is left behind. I'm not really concerned with what Valerie likes and dislikes right now. Yeah, I gathered as much. Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry, man. Just got a wife for me, is all. It ain't bleeding or nothing. What the hell is this damn thing? It's, uh. Well, it's a satellite. Gonna launch it to, to advertise my franchise. You know what they say? I know ad space like outer space. Of all the brands, you pick the one Hyperion hates. We're not drawing more attention to ourselves for some publicity stunt. Hey, there's no Whoa! need for that. Stop it! Come on, man. I gotta get some out of this trip. Scooter's earned the right to cash in on this trip. If it weren't for him, we'd still be stuck down on Pandora. And August, what exactly have you done for this mission? That's what I thought. Ah, oh, whatever. Awesome! That seems like a bad idea. Well, no one asked you. Warning. Debris collision imminent. <gasps> Is that a... person? Shh. Looks like he's sleeping too. Henderson. something we don't know. Did you know? The damage is critical. So this is how I die. I knew it. I knew it! Is it something you can fix? Regrettably, not in my current state. The damage is too severe. This ship requires additional thrust. Right! Without additional thrust, the ship will be pulled back towards Pandora. Look, y'all, we need to do some compensating right here, and y'all are in luck, because that's my specialty. Now turn them other rockets up to a lavin! Can't do step two without step one. Booster of rocket failure imminent. What does that mean? They're going to explode. So 
step two, let's do this! Uh, when are they gonna explode? Very soon. Everyone stay calm. We got this. Ah, there's a girl I fell in love with. What? Huh? Huh? What? Don't you worry, you're pretty little. Yeah, all of you, Dad, but yourself. But I'll be walking you through it, though. Option, all right. No. No. 
Fiona, look at me. This baby's gonna blow, okay? That is happening. And you can't be here when it does. Now, don't you go feeling all sorry for me, all right? People on Pandora will be talking about old Scooter for a long time. Can't think of a more epic way to go. Y'all should be so lucky. You're a hero. You know that, right? I kinda am, huh? You are? Well, it feels good. Right Rocket is way past critical, guys. That was the first casualty of the mission. So, what did you do next? What did we do? We honored him as best we could. He truly earned this. It's the least we can do. Make it something good. It's the least we can do. The worst part is, Scooter was the best of us. He deserves so much better. He was definitely one of the nicest people I met on Pandora. Although that's not probably saying much. Anyway, we didn't have much time to mourn and all that. Things started to get crazy the minute we landed on Helios. So, uh, if that's not it, uh, answering. Perfect. You have entered Hyperion airspace. Identify yourselves immediately. Okay, gang. There we go. I repeat, identify yourselves or you will be shot down. Do not come any closer. It's Hugo Vasquez. I'm back. Hugo, huh? I guess we should roll out the red carpet. Uh, for starters, yeah, I'd also like some bubbly chillin' in my office. Just, uh, not too cold, mind you. How about a warm bucket of piss? <laughs> You're lucky good old Hugo has a sense of humor.
I get inside and disable security, I'll call you when it's safe to come out. Time to put on the game face. You've got some things to answer for. Vasquez. Almost seems like, uh... What's the word? Providence? Sup, ladies? What you been doing? Talking about boys? Nope. Just discussing casual misogynism and how it manifests in corporate executives. Oh. Yeah, well... <laughs> Just getting around. And boys. Captain's brother is finally marrying his boyfriend. This is the happiest I've ever been. Orders are to verify what the hell you are doing down on Pandora. Nah, take it easy, guys. I just landed. In a hunk of Pandoran trash, no less. With half a loader bot stuck to the top. Water. And what's that thing you dropped say? Catch a... Whatever the hell it says. It was a dull satellite. Now I suggest you start telling the truth before I blow your head off. So, what were you doing down there? Not too often the top brass venture to that dirt pile. Yeah, you know, huge. Tracking down ten million dollars that was stolen from Hyperion. So where's the money? It, uh, exploded. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I got, you know, very important places to be. So I'll just be... What my way? Nah. Nah? What do you mean, nah? Here's how it is. You come up here full of piss and bullets, bragging about how you managed to lose ten million dollars. So no, you're not going anywhere. I'll take it from here. Hey, Bat, so good to see you. We need to catch up. Bring it in for testing. What the hell happened to Reese? This is unbelievable. Could we talk somewhere that's less exposed? We're fine right here. I'd like to shed more light on the situation. The situation is that you brought Reese back in pieces. Our deal was clear. You were supposed to retrieve his head so management could download whatever the hell was inside of there that was so damn valuable. Now we'll never collect the reward. Cause you lost a critical Hyperion asset. You're not even a little sad? I thought you were close. That's none of your business. You and I had a deal. But he was your friend. If you think you can distract me, think again. You had one job, and, well, you blew it. I'm taking you straight to management. Let's see how you like answering to them. I've had it with you. Let's see how big of a smartass you are under questioning. Sure, let's talk to him. But if I go down, you're coming with me. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Test me. Find out what I know about you. If you think I'd make a deal and not have my ass covered, then you don't know Hugo Vasquez. It's been real. By in the caravan. Tell us when it's safe to move. Ah! Yvette's scanning the body, so we gotta hurry. I'm taking over the cameras now. Child's play. And we're linked. Now for the password. Alright, alright, you 
you want to dance? Let's dance. Hey, not bad, killer. Good luck keeping up the pace now. Bet that little cyber arm of yours is getting pretty tired. It's child's play, right, pal? Well, the security is a bit tougher than I expected. And now I wrote the program. So let's send an icebreaker into that frozen sea of code, shall we? Security cameras have been breached. Now, go forth and lay waste, my son. Just one sec, let me find you. Fiona, I'm in. say so myself. Tell us where to go, Reese. Uh, the door's up ahead. Come on, this way. Okay, we're at the... the hub of heroism? Great. The elevator to Jack's office is across the atrium. That's where the tours meet. Got it. Looks like it's time to put on our tour guide hat. We only need their badge, and then we're out of here. Although I could use a new hat. Pretending to be a tour guide for a place we've never been and know nothing about. This'll end well. Spot our tour guide yet? Not yet. Reese, we need an assist. Alright, check in the schedule. Check in the schedule. Alright, a guide will be coming off our tour any second. We're on it. Alright, there's the tour guide. Standard distract and grab. Yeah, when I'm in position behind the tour guide, that's your cue to get her talking. First opening I find, I'll lift her badge. Oh, oh, oh! What about me? Oh, you've got the most important job of all, Gordis. Once I have the badge, you gotta get the tour guide out of the room. Roger that, General Captain Lieutenant Ma'am! Private Gordis is on the job! I can't believe they call that stuff in the cafeteria food. <laughs> That's why I stick to coffee. Hides the whiskey on my breath. A woman after my own heart. Ugh, I've been thinking. If Hyperion served real food, not that free hyperhydrated crap. Oh, come on. Oh, no, no, no. Would you care for another glass of whatever it is humans drink? Uranium milk, perhaps? Ooh. Oh, my outfit's ruined! Oh no, this is so terrible. Nothing gets coffee and whiskey out. You! Do you have any idea who this is? A uh, nice tour guide lady? Be Come on, I'll help you find a change of clothes. You know... Have you ever considered a management position? I mean, the way you demean that little robot, you'd be perfect. Where do I put in my application? Hello, Reese. You have the privilege of speaking to Helios's newest tour guide. Well done. Your criminal instinct shines again. I'm heading up to Jack's office with Gordas. Hi, Reese! Oh, damn it! What? What's happening? They know they've been hacked. 
I got this, but you need to hurry and keep a low profile. <sighs> okay. Keep your eyes on the prize. Attention. Helios is on heightened alert. Please report any suspicious activity immediately. Fiona? I don't like their faces. They aren't moving. Who's this? Uh, she barely looks Hyperion. So, <laughs> you guys are a tour group. We're the Handsome Jack VIP experience. The best tour money can buy. It better be. So are you gonna give us the tour or not? Oh, uh... You've kept us waiting long enough. All right, VIPs. Well, get ready for a once in a lifetime experience. For all of us. Here we go. The uh, first stop of the Handsome Jack VIP experience. This depicts... Oh, I cannot wait to hear about this. Mr. Hyperion. Defeating, um... So that's why this company is called Hyperion. I get it now. That makes so much more sense. The entire army of Gremtilius by rolling over it with a giant eyeball. Huh. What a mess. Whoa. You are totally blowing my mind right now. Quite a sight to behold, isn't it? This, my friends, is... No freaking way. Jack's infamous horse, made from real diamonds. And, uh... Whoever rides this horse is granted three wishes. All three of Jack's wishes, naturally, were for more guns. Oh, ingenious. If you'll follow me, we're on to our third and final exhibit. Oh, I can't wait. Um, uh, yeah, what is this? Ooh. Uh, kinda just looks like a chair. Look at this chair. Just marvel at it. Stare deeply into its majesty. This empty chair represents that Handsome Jack is no longer with us. Out of respect to Jack, please. Be silent and hold all questions. Sorry about that. Had to leave my chair for a throne, if you catch my drift. Wait a minute, that wasn't an exhibit at all. So, why would you tell us that it is? Uh, I think they call people like that liars. Oh, <clears throat> that, oh, uh, I thought that was a new exhibit that I just hadn't been briefed on yet. So I, I guessed. You new here? First day on the job. All right, enough chit-chat. Come on through so you can see Jack's office. Step aside and raise your arms. Ho oh, ho, I knew there was something off about her. Yeah, she was weirdly ignorant for a guy. Yeah, I don't trust her. Guess what? You're banned from tours for life. Y you can't do that. Should have been nicer. I won't stand for this. Tough break, kid. Maybe next time you'll show some respect. What's this? It was a gift. What's in it? 
Look for yourself. No metal objects. Next time it's mine. Understood. Woo woo! <laughs> We're almost there. Now for the main event. Even you can't ruin this for me. Horn, can you ID the beacon? It's gotta be in there somewhere. Let me look. Hmm. Can't see it from here. Maybe I can just... Stop! Why? Oh boy. I, 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 I can't believe we're here. Uh... Here it is. Your hero's office. Is it safe to go inside? Uh... Gotta be. I paid good money for this. Uh, I really wouldn't. Yeah, you know what? We don't need your permission. Force field breach detected. Security lockdown engaged. Thank you for taking the oh my god. Oh. VIP oh experience. god. This isn't a we tour. You it's a goddamn tour. death trap. Goodbye. Okay, uh, let's go. Everybody out. I'm not cleaning that shit up again. You got this? That's a heavy duty looking door. This better work. Damn it. I can't get into Jack's office. What? You gotta be kidding me. You had one job! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Some moron on the tour tried to go through before the door was deactivated. I, I, I can't seem to get in. I mean, the, the lockdown security system must be on a local grid or something. Now, so I can understand. It means that we need another way in. Okay, okay, we just, I just need to think about this for a second and... Uh, maybe if we, uh, um, um, hold tight, okay? I gotta call you back. Event's here. Crap. He said to hold tight! Well, what's he doing in there? Damn it! Get out of my way. <laughs> Newsflash, asshole. This is my office now. First you give me a body that isn't re- Then you go hacking my computer? What are you doing? You're trying to pull something. I know it. Oh, hey, Yvette. Glad you came by. Just cleaning up my computer. Spare me the sarcasm. You want to tell me what's going on? We had a deal, asshole. I tracked Reese and Bond all across Pandora for you. I refused them supplies when they needed them. And all you had to do was bring me whatever the hell was living inside Reese's head. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Of course, you'd betray me. You're only out for yourself. If you couldn't handle the risk, maybe you shouldn't have taken Vasquez's deal. My deal. I am Vasquez in the, uh... So in the first place, maybe you shouldn't have. Weren't Reese and Vaughn your friends? They were dead the second they set foot on Pandora. If I was gonna lose them anyway, I might as well get something out of it. But you still haven't answered me. Why bring a body that wasn't Reese? I can't believe you thought I wouldn't find out. Well, you seriously underestimated me. You're right. Reese isn't dead. What? I have no idea what's going on here, but I don't like it. I'm calling security. Thank you for calling security. You are the Hey, how you doing? Uh, get her off that phone if I was you, unless you want to be a bullet sponge. I can hand. Yeah, cool. Time to decide what's mightier, the pen or the punch. All security officers are busy. Please continue to hold. Yvette, we need to talk. Oh, yeah? What about? You got this, pal. Don't mess it up or we'll die. Security officers are busy eliminating other threats and will take your call in the order it was received. Everything is gonna be fine. Okay, by tomorrow, you'll be sipping macchiatos with the rest of the galaxy's most morally flexible. That's not your style, Hugo. What are you playing at? Being down there. I've seen some pretty messed up shit. 
Kind of stuff that can change a guy. That bad, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm different now. I guess I can see that. I don't know what you're up to, but you better make this right. And fast. You have my word. Oh, and Hugo? I'm watching you. Fiona, you there? Maurice, what took you so long? Do you forget that we have a, you know, a mission to accomplish? I ran into an old friend, who I guess is a new enemy. <laughs> wow, everyone is trying to screw you over. Oh, I have all the luck, don't I? So yeah, Jack's office is on total lockdown and I can't get the beacon. A little help? Uh... I'm working on it. Work faster! No beacon means no law it means everybody's gonna die! At least we're all doomed together! Yay! Come on, Reese, it'll come to you. You know, if I were you in there with the bat, I would've let my stun baton do the talking. Well, that's not quite true. If I were you, I would have bought Yvette a one-way ticket to strangulation count. Yvette's got nothing to do with this, all right? Just leave her alone. Oh, excuse me. Oh, no. The stress is getting to him. Reese, nobody's talking about Yvette. We need to come up with a plan. Will do. As I was saying, I'm here to help. Just surprised a handsome Jack fan like you doesn't know I have a trap door in my office. And let me tell you, you're gonna love it. As long as blood doesn't make you squeamish and yeah, maybe some brains and whatnot. For what? Uh, you know, the usual and boring meetings, shit can upstart executives, yada yada yada. Look, the point is, that's the centerpiece of your new plan. You're gonna need to go in the out hole while someone yanks the lever. It's not as sexy as it sounds. A lot of people died down there. No, oh, what did I agree to? A brilliant plan. With my office on lockdown, climbing up the trap door is the only way in. And you get to do it all from the safety of a prison cell. No, no way. Forget it. This plan is insane. Coming up here in a rocket caravan with cheap muscle and a couple of con artists. That was freaking insane. I'm just trying to make sure we both survive this festering mess of yours. Okay, then. Guess that counts as a plan. Yeah, it does. All right, the first step, though, is to make sure that con artist babe of yours joins you on the prison level and we're golden. You can access the jackhole there. Tell me you've got a plan. Oh, yeah, it's a... <laughs> it's a real doozy. Oh, let's hear it. Hey, Feet, you have got to see the head tour guide's office. The view is unbelievable. Not now. We gotta change the plan. What's up? You need to get down to the prison level now. Got it. On my way. All right, I'll see you there. Wait, how? I don't have clearance for that. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I don't, uh, just get arrested. Arrested? Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what we've been trying to do. Just do it, and do it quick. I gotta go. All right, we do this Pandoran style. This horse down. Grr, I'm ready for prison life. <gasps> why? Why is it? You didn't see anything. Why is it doing that? Why is it bleeding? There's there's blood. Why is there blood? What if it was just filled with strawberry jam? You just get arrested and meet me. Reese, Reese, are you there? V Vaughn? Vaughn? Hey, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm with Cassius. He saved me back there, and we're just. I don't know where, but we're eating drake fruit. Really want to. With the. V Vaughn? With the thing. Vaughn? Vasquez? Ah! 
Talk or walk, ladies. I don't have time for both. You made me and my accounting boys look like idiots with that 10 million you stole. It's gonna take years to do all the paperwork. Better. Up to it. <clears throat> Sorry, just ate a burrito. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. You can always count on us outnumbering you. Smoke them! a mockery of the Hyperion finger gun tradition. Seriously? That's your problem with this? Wait. You're not Vasquez. Smoke him for real! Got him now. Get him! What? Bring it on! <laughs> Batter up, bitches! Shaka! Shoot! 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 Here's some more for ya! Hope you're not allergic to lead! Screw this thing. You saw nothing, okay? Sometimes the light plays tricks. Makes a statue look like it's seeping blood, but it's all just in your head. I know a bleeding statue when I you see know one. Nothing. Hey, what's going on here with you all? How's it going? Oh, hi, Reese! Things are going great! Did you just say Reese? Nothing! I could have swore you said Reese. Isn't that the name of the dead guy they picked up on Pandora? How much of a beating did you lay on these two, huh? Clearly they're brain damaged. I mean, just like the regular amount. Hey, come on. Clearly not the way this one's babbling on. 
So what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? Because if it's related to the incident upstairs, this is all under control. Just another case of vandalism on the Handsome Jack tour. That's confidential information that I can't divulge. Just hand over the prisoners and stay out of the way. I don't understand. You know, you must not be a big fan of having a job questioning one of your superiors like this. No, it's not that. It's just strange is all. What's strange is that you're still standing here. How about you go take an early lunch and I'll try and forget this insubordination. Or would you rather I just fire you on the spot? Leaving now, sir. Nice job. So, what is this plan, exactly? I found out about a trap door that leads to Jack's office. We just gotta figure out a way up. So I'm guessing the plan doesn't involve you getting most by a death machine? No, that's... that's a problem. How can we help? By figuring out a way to shut that thing off so I can get up there. Then I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. Sounds like a plan. Wait! We gotta go up... So, Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordas boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me. Just climb on up. Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh, no. This is excruciatingly painful. But hey, I'm a team player. Reese wouldn't let us down. Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. You know, Fiona, sometimes you just gotta trust people. That hasn't worked out for me so far. Well, maybe this time is different. All right, Gordis, just give me a little boost up there. No problem. Hurry up, Reese. Okay. Oh! <laughs> How was that? Better than I could have expected. Thanks. No problem. Try not to die. Reese, you all right? Nope. Good thing I got that puking out of my system. Maybe we should step away. Reese, you can do it. Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy. Easy, right? <laughs> Stupid, nice robot. You heard her. Why? Why? You've got some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave them the slip, but Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are gonna get messy if you start messing with us. Don't forget what's on the line here. You get us what we want, what we agreed to, and no one has to get hurt. You think about that. Check you out, you made it! In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. This place is just overflowing with assholes. I don't know how I stood it for so long. Cause you had to. But hey, you're in the big leagues now. 
I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gordis Beacon? That's well, gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. Ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Welcome to my trophy case, huh? Got a couple of killer relics, a few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty frickin' cool. Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. It's delish. Gordis, you there? Hey! Uh, hi. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is, all right? Great. I'll be down there in a minute. Okay. See you soon. Not much to look at. Okay. Here we go. The big seat is all yours. You trigger the trap door from there. With that Gordon. Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. Haha, <laughs> eager to jump in the big chair, huh? It suits you. You look good. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all started. How's it feel, kiddo? There's something to be said for a cushy chair with a bunch of big important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. Feels like a goddamn chair. Yeah, yeah, but the buttons next to this chair help me make some big changes in this world. You know what I'm saying? So what you're saying is it's a chair with buttons. <sighs> You're killing me. But say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do with it? What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. What's going on over there? I'm being told to stand down! Stand down? How does that even work? I'm not supposed to tell you that. We're kind of in the middle of... I'm sure she'd like to see you too! Oh, hey! Here she is! So, if we could wield Hyperion's might together, how would you rule? Hypothetical, of course. But still, you gotta know what you want, if you're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven. Remember? Oh, you know, have nice things, settle down, not have to avoid being murdered every eight seconds. Oh, please, if we ran Hyperion, you'd get all that stuff in the first 48 hours. Heck, you and Sasha could travel the galaxy, take stupid selfies in front of planetary monuments, whatever the kids are doing these days. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me, this whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. 
And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we can rule together. What do you say, kid? This is the only room with the override port, so if you don't jack in now, you'll never get another shot. Hell no! You're a psychopath. Why would I trust you? After all the times I tried to help you, after all we've been through, you refuse everything you've ever wanted? Oh, I knew you were an idiot the moment you plugged me into your empty little head. You know you died alone, right? Vault hunters killed your friends, they killed your family, and you croaked in some volcano in the middle of nowhere. I am really going to enjoy killing you. I'm done talking. I'm using the trapdoor. No. No, you really not. Ring, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. Oh, that poor sweet Fiona. All good. Just getting into position. What are you doing? <laughs> It's done. I'm everywhere in the system now. Not to mention my sweet new body. You're a maniac. No, I am handsome, goddamn Jack! 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 Jack!